think it is that, and again, this was a lesson taught to me by one of my mentors, a fellow called Zig Ziglar. Zig used to talk about many things, and one of the things that he spoke about was that you can get everything that you want in life if you help enough other people get what they want. In other words, if you have an attitude of helping as many people as you possibly can in your life to get what they want, um, you really can, in a commercial world, uh, be very successful. But not only that, you can feel really good about yourself. Because in life, you know, probably the most important things are how we feel about ourselves. And, you know, self-esteem uh, issues are a real problem with some people. So uh, a lot of people really understand this, that the more you give and the more you help people, the more you will feel better about yourself. And from a commercial point of view, uh, if you think about the most successful businesses in the world, all the, all the creators of these businesses have ever done is figure out really unique ways of helping people. I mean, look at Steve Jobs. You mentioned Steve Jobs earlier. You know, he revolutionized the personal computer market. Some of the products he created just were game changers, like you know the iPod, for example, carrying a thousand songs in your pocket. I mean, today that seems like nothing, but back when he thought of that idea, that revolutionized an industry. And all he was really thinking about was, what do people really want? How can I help more people get what they want? And that iPod just looked, took off, wow, huge, because he helped a lot of people. McDonald's, for example, you know, all, all the. Uh, Ray Kroc, the founder of McDonald's, did. He, he worked out a really unique way of helping a lot of people solve the problem they had, which was how do you get high-quality food on the run in a hurry at a good price? And he perfected the system where the McDonald brothers, who actually created McDonald's, couldn't. They, they didn't succeed, and Ray Kroc did because he had this philosophy. That the, the McDonald brothers mostly were focused on making money. Uh, he focused on, well, you know, what, what's the problem out there? Why, why do people need fast food? And how can I do this for a lot of people? And, of course, it grew and it grew and it grew and it grew. And, it grew. and as I often say, imagine how successful McDonald's could be if they had good food. It's a little joke there. But, but the reality is, you know, that they just really worked out a way of helping people uh, all over the United States and then Australia and all the countries that they're in now. And every successful entrepreneur has done it. Look at Richard Branson. He, he came up with an idea for cut, cut rate airlines to save people money. And now look what, what has happened nationally and internationally. It's been a game changer again. So many people have benefited by Richard Branson's vision and idea of helping a lot of people to afford air travel. Uh, and, and all of the, the, the really successful entrepreneurs today, that's exactly what they've done. So I think the, the thing that I most value is the fact that my major motivation today is to help as many people as I can to be successful in business, but also just be successful in life. And I'm not a guru. I don't know all the answers or anything, but a lot of my work that I do these days is in the personal development area. Yeah, I'm best known as somebody who speaks on selling, negotiating, business. But, you know, you can be successful in sales, successful in business and be an idiot um, and be not a very nice person. So it's having that balance in life and I think just that attitude of, of helping. If you, if you take the attitude of, I want to help people, uh, you'll be successful, I think, in just about every area of your life. You'll be liked, perhaps admired, uh, and you'll be financially successful as well. So the more we give, the more we get, I think. Life life gives us back what we put out. If we are, and I believe there are givers and takers, absolutely. And I, I see so many people that take, 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 and they live in scarcity. It just isn't enough. So they, they need to hold it close and they need to you know, I keep everything close to them and not give any help, not do anything. And, um, you know, w when they put that out there, people don't give them anything. You know, their life is a struggle. Whereas the most successful people I know, they're just are generous in their charity work and they just give, give, give. And the more you give, the more it flows back to you. So that's been probably the greatest learning I've had in life and the greatest thing that I'd probably like to share through the work I do and the seminars I do and the, the videos I record and all that kind of stuff to do. Mm. That's a really good question because, um, particularly as a speaker, and I don't so much have to do that anymore because I speak these days when I...